Hello YouTube and welcome back in to some Let's Play Civilization 6. I think we're sort of resigned to go from dark into heroic here. It's uh it's a little painful, but we did we did accelerate our political philosophy to turn 52. That's actually pretty decent. We got monuments in our first two cities and then eventually found a first culture meet. So that's why we're there at a reasonable time. Um, anything around turn 50 is usually decent for this. Um, we're going to need this. We're going to need oligarchy. I'm going to need to go to military tradition to help get my general and produce units and stuff. Um, but first, we're going to start with... I think I'm going to need garrison commander, given that we're going to have loyalty issues. I'm usually a big fan of defense logistics, but it, that's again, that's only in cities where Victor's going to live and also our strategics are coming from. We're just not really in that position here. Um, we only have one source of horses, and it's pretty far away, and I'm not really relying on horses for this war. So I think going garrison, candor, uh, garrison commander for the extra loyalty, now it's within nine tiles, um, so I don't know that, that it'll apply right away. Two, four, six, eight, nine is very close. Um, but once once we have once we have our promoted swords and they can get down here, we can bring Victor down and then boost the loyalty of all the cities. So hopefully that'll work out. We'll see. That's the plan, anyways. I guess we're warring into crossbows. I mean, we always do. They they the she'll have crossbows in like thirteen turns. You know. What's up, Zach? Been watching your Gandhi stuff uh, last few days on YouTube. Got a question for you. When you decide to build wonders, uh, it seems like on higher difficulties that your science and production is always behind any wonder and you get beat by the AI. It is absolutely a timing thing. And frankly, I've just memorized a lot of them in my heads. It Heads? Have for, Okay, step one, get, get another head. You just don't have enough in one. You don't have enough computational space in the one. So step one, get another head. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's really just, it, it's kind of wrote to me, um, it, but early wonders are very difficult to get, um, especially, especially if you're trying to, to grab one like Stonehenge, uh, I, great bath goes immediately. Ones that you can get in the ancient era are like pyramids and temple of Artemis, but even Artemis can go very, very quickly. So it's just a matter of knowing which ones that you can get and when to go for them. I was wondering if there was going to be a little, a fancy little uh, goody hut there. So I'll switch into survey for that goody hut. I'll take the gold as well. That also gives me my promotion. So hopefully our scouts can now start to actually, you know, scout. That would be nice. She's sending me a road. Oh, no, she's not sending me a road back. Where are you going, trader? Nope, she's not sending me one. And if we can start our war in 14 turns, we'll have established a trading post in London. That trading post should give us extra dipl vis diplomatic visibility over here, which translates it into a combat strength bonus of plus three. That plus your general gives you plus eight, and it should make our swordsmen quite effective. So we're probably looking to war in exactly 14 turns, and we'll try to get as set up as we can before then. Virtual Viper, thanks for the follow. Two turns left on the era. These, these, the city needs a growth tile, so I think I'm gonna improve the truffles so we can work a two food tile over over this one, probably. Uh, Justica, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. <laughs> I okay so our reasons for warring England aside they start to look amazing because we can get a city here and that is a plus five campus no sorry plus five normally plus seven as Wilhelmina two geothermal fissures for two each a mountain here for one and then on a river for two more so no matter what we're going to get a city over there and that should be good New to the game and trying to figure stuff out, please be don't be shy about asking questions. I love to answer questions. I love to help people out. She's got swords already, by the way. Um, which means I need to bring this guy back. Yeah, don't be shy about asking questions. We 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 I, at least I pride myself in being able to teach this game and help people out. I really enjoy doing that. So don't be shy is the point of that all. 
How do you mark it with a star then? Um, so that is a pin system. So these little lenses are quite useful. Uh, those are just ones that you can run. These are also duplicatable with your number keys. You can go to map options, do all that stuff. The one that I use the most here are map tacks. We add a tack, we can pick any tile, and then we can put any of these little markers on it. Um, I highly recommend doing that. That's a city center, and then we, we mark out a plus five campus. And so you can prioritize these things as you see. Sometimes you get overwhelmed, and you're like, I don't remember what I was doing. And you're like, oh, I have pins for it. I have no idea how we haven't met more people. Dark Age incoming. Oh, yeah, it was plus seven. I keep forgetting about her uh, <laughs> river bonus. That's her whole thing. All right, so into a Dark Age we go. Thalia, thank you so much for the turn 50 save. Uh, we're going to get political philosophy at turn 51. We'll make our turn 50 save there. That's fine. We'll wait for that to kick in. Uh, we can have some archers here in a second. She's, yeah, this is going to be an interesting war, you guys. This is going to be interesting. So what do we want? Doesn't matter. We have one turn. Um, not much for us here at the moment. We're not going to be building a lot of districts. We're certainly not founding a religion. Uh, so free inquiry is really just kind of where we want to be. Um, what are what Eurekas are we looking to build? Quarry, walls, water mill, three mines, three archers, three districts. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, we're playing on deity, Becca. So we'll go with free inquiry here. All right, so teching to our campuses makes a lot of sense. We've got a city uh, prime to get a good one of these. If we continue to fall too far behind on science, she's got 25, I have six. We're going to be kind of screwed here. We might be screwed anyways. This might be a, just an ill-advised war, given that we have a good amount of land that we could go and settle. Uh, the relig That is a complicated question, Toppy. If you ask me in between videos, I can talk about religion for you. Um, but that's a little off topic for exactly where I'm at right now. There's my archery boost. That already gives us a, uh, a Eureka because of our dedication. What does science do? It progresses you through your science tree, which is the ultimate goal of our game. We're probably going to go to Mars uh, and win a space race. Uh, but science early on uh, usually translates into military might. Um, and just general general strength as of your sieve. I think I need to go right for crossbows though. Eh, I can I, I can I can tech writing. We'll tech writing. It'll be okay. Hi Sassy, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, no, no. I, I I encourage all the questions. Some of them I'm not gonna because we are recording for YouTube. I don't want to I don't want to spend ten minutes talking about religion in the middle of a a game when we're not even really going for it. But I'm, I'm, I'm normally happy to answer that question for you. Okay. Let's keep going. Temple of Artemis on turn 51. So as I said, Temple of Artemis can go very, very quickly. Uh, it is only turn 51, and you are pretty unlikely to get it by now. You can do it. I mean, I've gotten, we've certainly gotten sub 50, but you have to beeline it. You have to be there for it right away. I can't believe I haven't cleared a barb outpost. That's why we got a dark age, by the way. Just lack of clearing this. But I really want to go here for the uh, strategos. Retro Leak, thank you so much for the two months of the Prime sub. Welcome back in. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Jackal. Yeah, we'll go quick writing. We're going to go into Oligarchy for the combat strength and extra unit experience, which we're going to need. Also curious what you are in. She's in Autocracy, so we, we that's good. I hope she stays in Autocracy. Okay, so what are we doing? We want unit production. Production. Influence points. And then I want the general policy in a couple turns. Do I need to buy any tiles? I 
If I don't need to buy tiles, I can take just a couple extra gold. I don't think I need to buy tiles. Yeah, indeed. I really need to meet someone else so that um, so that we can trade with them. She is in a normal age, so that's actually good for us. That means we won't have as as many loyalty issues as I anticipated. But she's she struggled with error score as well, which is interesting. Okay. Don't want my govern government plaza here. We want this to be a campus. So let's go chop out this woods for it. And we're going to go ahead and buy that tile too. So I could have run the tile buying policy. Um, and we can chop out another builder. Builders are always good. I wonder if she's going to go for city states. Because she's still friendly with me. And it doesn't look like she's moving her, ar her army on our borders. Oops. So we have enough for one swordsman. We really need to get this city going. So maybe I maybe I should be chopping out a settler here instead. And then I'll put in the policy for the one chop. Yeah, that'll be okay. That'll be okay. Anybody work? Yeah, England getting general points already. So that means I need to run a general project. She's going to have a general to combat us. This this feels like it's not going to work. This feels like it's not going to work. Fear my sick science. You're building there. Holy Bravery site? Science? Is being the You're building one. science. I'm mad at you. Oh, aqueduct. Okay, I guess. Turd face. Thanks for the follow. My condolences. Let's finish that. So I'm running a project. I still this is a priority though. I think I'm gonna give up the give up this for colonization for just a turn or two. I'm actually not building a unit, but there's nothing else to run here in the military slot that actually helps. So we'll run this for a little bit. I don't have any gold maintenance. So that was half half the time that half the time the settler needed. Um, three turns, we can get that going. Can you move? Where's this city going? Are the Dark Age policies any good? Uh, I've probably used them like twice. <laughs> So I'm not I'm not usually a big fan. They're very specific. When they work, they're kind of okay. Um, but they're they're pretty lackluster, if I'm honest. I, I can't get back across the river. I could I guess I could do open borders with her. Writing means Alright, so now I have my city that can come and hook up this iron for us. Uh that being said, I also want to lock in our plus five campus there. But I want to finish this builder first. And I need you to grow. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that one's better. Something like that. Okay. Okay. 
We still haven't met anybody. Wow, it's just the two of us. Oh, man. This is fine to buy. It's in our third ring, so it takes forever to expand to it. Those are two very good tiles for us to work in. We get a full extra housing now that we have two of them. Just curious. So we'll probably wind up buying a bunch of her iron right before we declare for gold per turn, and we'll just reset that trade and hopefully get the iron from her. Mm, actually, go get the uh, farm resource. We need the irrigation boost. So let's do that. Finally. Yes, the gold per turn will go away when we declare the war. Yeah, that happens, Geek Trainer. It's all about timing, right? It's all about hitting all of the things you want at the exact same time and trying to overwhelm them. There are lots of ways to do successful wars in Civ Six. One is just having way better tech than your neighbors, right? Like, so if you've gone science first and you're at the point when you have bombers and they're, like, back in the, you know, the medieval age, like, obviously you're going to win that war. Early on... It's 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 more subtle, right? So like the combat strength that we're going to get from the trade route, that's almost done. Uh, the four combat strength from oligarchy, that extra XP, and then a general, that just little nudge above the uh, ab above the the AI is what you need to to be successful. Hmm. That seems great. Hmm. Hmm. I'll wait a minute and do open borders. Dido does have a navy, 500 military strength. England with a couple hundred as well. Project is done. Ah! No, 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 no. Yeah, so she's rewarding Cahokia. So uh, I don't know that I'll be able to liberate him. But um, I could maybe take their city. It's not on. Oh, it is on a lake. All right, so now what? How did my project come along? So I think. I think we'll be good to go on our general now that we ran one project. Uh, we have four of eight housings, so the granary like helps us a little bit, but it's only one food. We're probably better off getting a builder and chopping some of the food resources if we want growth. Uh, I think what we need to do is grab this government plaza, being that um, I need another governor promotion. Yeah, how is Great Bath still here? That's kind of crazy, huh? So Petra is potentially going here, or the Petra city, as it were. If I go here, I loot. Yeah, I don't get to pick that up. It's weird that there are like three more. It's 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 a really it's a really weird one. Yeah, what's up, Captain Morgan? So if that's the Petra city.
think... I think we can do another city here. It's not amazing. But what it does do is potentially make our government plaza... No, I have to make my government plaza in my cap. So what if this is pyramids? Nope. Not that one. Ideally it goes here, but it's too far away for me to build that. Yeah, this is a fine government plaza. It means I'm delaying any pyramids, though. Because we could do campus there. I don't know what there. I think I like the government plaza better here. No. I don't know, man. It's a weird one. What if it went between these cities? It's just real odd. I'm gonna build it there. Quick question, if you could pick up one Civ to get a major update or rework in the patch, who, which would I feel is most deserving? Uh, it would be the Civ at the bottom of my ranks. Which would be... Jay. Poor Jay. Any of these are, are deserving of a rework, in my opinion. Okay. Turn 58. It's getting a little late for this war. I don't like it. I do not want to give you iron. That is false. I would be happy to trade you my Diplo favor, though. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Pachacuti. I forgot Jay existed. <laughs> Whatever. Stupid barbs. So, normally I'd probably want to settle. Actually, yeah. We'll just settle here. That'll work. Now, what we're hoping for is a... Um, I can't declare yet. We need one, two, three more turns minimum. So I can't kill it. Yeah. See, I, I, would I was going to say, I hope Cahokia can take out some of her units. Make our life way easier. There's our irrigation boost. Did we already get the irrigation? Oh, we already did get the irrigation boost. Whoops. Whoops. That's all right. We'll give them a farm. Maybe we go to irrigation now. Do we have plantations that can make us money? That one can. Actually, that's not great. Let's not do that. Let's, uh, let's head up to crossbows. Because we'll need them to sustain the war. And we're at four per turn. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get this first general. Go ahead and settle this city. Gives us extra gold. I really like settling maize. Uh, extra gold in the city center is quite nice. As good as, almost as good as the truffles that we had. Uh, and then this city needs a builder. As well as a second source of iron. And now we should have enough iron to start producing swords fairly quickly. Oops. And we can also we could also work on this plus five campus. It's underneath a volcano. We're on a fairly low difficulty setting. It's either that or this plus four. I need these cities to help make up for the fact that I'm so far behind and our science and stuff isn't great. So this city working on their campus after this builder is probably good. And uh, similarly here. Okay. I'm 
probably don't need this barracks unless I really want to produce a bunch of bunch of units here. We could also make this city be a, uh, a stable city and produce some horses here. But what are we uh, working on in the meantime then? Just a campus. I think I'm going to get a builder and chop out our resources in Amsterdam and produce all of them there. Do I think taking Earth Goddess as Australia is weird? It is weird. It does feel quite weird to have Earth Goddess as Australia because you have a lot of competing tiles, right? In, in Australia, you want to use your high appeal tiles for districts, but then Earth Goddess benefits, obviously, faith per turn wise. It depends what you're doing with Australia. If you're doing Australia on a culture or faith race type game, those are high appeal districts. And so I think it is actually okay to take Earth Goddess because you're going to take high appeal tiles. The best ones are going to get your districts, and then the ones surrounding them hopefully get their appeal increased enough to kick in with Earth Goddess. So it's really just, it depends on what you want to do with that game, Sacrador. Rip Cahokia. We'll eventually want the Warlord's Throne, but our priority now is to make some Swordsmen. Running the policy. Don't need this anymore, and frankly don't need this anymore. We can go back into production here. And then what? When did I become so smart? <laughs> Uh, thank you. Thank you. I can accept your calling me smart. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I don't know. What do we want? Honestly, this could be okay. Because we could take this trade route that's about to expire in the cap, send this to another city and get extra production towards our swordsmen. I think I like that. Speaking of Dark Age policies. Because this is over. And I need this road anyhow. Now I could go up to Babylon or try to go up here to Lisbon just to get the extra like gold and culture. But I think we're doing okay in that regard. And bo mostly what I need is military might. So I think this is fine. And we'll get three food and... Oh, three food and four production if we go here. It's such a worse road though. I still very much want this road. Maybe we can get it later. No, I'm, I'm going to go here. This is this is the long-term play. Let's make the long-term play. All right. Now we're getting a bunch of iron per turn. We're at four, and then we'll get up to six. So that should, that should allow us to produce quite a few swords, I think. Babylon. Oh, I should have put in Diplomatic League for the second Envoy here. But I really would like the science now. So I'm not going to take the time to do that. That's a small mistake. Because um, I want the science per turn. We're, we're really far behind England. Can't get around here anymore. So we're going through. She settled this. So I'm not getting that anymore. You're working these two tiles, please. Here's our general, who will later retire into a book, which is great. Two turns on our first sword. This guy almost there as well. I am hoping, I doubt it, I'm pretty sure Kahoki is gone next turn. But if there's somehow another turn, I'm going to upgrade my units and try to snipe some of her units. Um, I don't think it works out, but that would be my dream. That would be my hope. It's good to have hopes and dreams. Oh, by the way. We need this embrasure, second city stripe, but mostly we're taking this for the extra promotion. So all of our swords are going to start with them. 
And rip. Okay. Don't now, it would be great if she came and declared on me now. I'm not going to upgrade right now. I want to make sure that we have enough iron per turn. And as long as we just get the second one online, or third, I guess, total, uh, we're going to get six per turn. And we should be able to upgrade this guy fairly quickly. No quarry, none of this stuff. I'm going to go to currency. Or I could just hard tech engineering and go to machinery, which I think is probably the better play. We're going to need some crossbows to help support this. Here's another continent. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this would have been era score for over one more tile, but this is actually on my home continent. That's kind of funny. So we start, we have extra movement because of the general, and we also have a promotion, um, which probably want to probably want to take them right away and get our XP cranking along. Here's the next one we get to start, and then in two turns, we'll be able to... So let's see. Four turns from now, we'll have 24 more iron, which only gives us 36. So I'm actually a turn shy of being able to upgrade this guy quite yet. So we'll just continue to wait a second. Turn 70 is a bit late to be starting a, um, a war like this. But we'll see what we can do. Looks like somebody's a genius for prepping for war. A little bit rough for th for this uh, this archer who may not make it now. Just kidding. They're fine. All righty, fun. Let's do this. I'm gonna take my Suzer in here for the era score the and exploration that it gives me. Lovers, Juan and Maria on his swiftest horse. As he overtook them, Maria flung down her ring and at once rose up seven tall hills. And the king was slowed. Find us the chocolate hills. Yummy. <laughs> More land to settle up and around Lisbon. That's kind of fun. Interesting. Interesting world. I'm into it. There's a goodie hut there. They're too far away for me to like levy or make that kind of a play, I think. Could get more iron. I think we're going to be okay. I just need to wait like one more cycle of um, building uh, a swordsman. To, to, to catch up with this guy being able to promote. So we'll do that. I don't think this is going to lead anywhere, but we'll see what happens. I haven't seen the Bermuda Triangle or Fountain of Youth yet. Turn 66 Machu Picchu. No, it was unmet, and Dido got Apadana. 
bringing that builder over for some chops. Yep. <laughs> this is why we're so we have nowhere to go. It's just it's uh yeah. I'm happy that we prepped for war with this one because it would have been a little awkward otherwise. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you've been watching over on YouTube, I do appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.